Hello guys, welcome to Webtrix Home. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a mega menu, horizontal mega menu that you see in most of the e-commerce sites, right? So you can see I've used the same menu that we created in part one of the menu, simple CSS menu, right? So uh, only the titles are changed, all the properties are the same, and you can see even see all the text here. I pasted here to add in the sub menus. So let's go to our HTML file and make necessary changes. You can see all the CSS here and all the text for the submenus. So add the submenu in one of them. I'll choose main here. So behind the anchor tag, close the anchor tag, we'll create div instead of ul first and then create this ul how, how many ul's you want. So I'm creating four of them here. And adding headings as well along with the menus menu titles right I will keep on doing that all right so add all the titles when in okay now you can see here right so the first thing we'll need it here is the position absolute that will make the view proper so the main menu doesn't get damaged in view right so we'll define the width and then define the margin right so let's make it 100 person try it it's in the middle I don't think I can do it so I'm using 100 person here driven the curse uh, scroll bar at the bottom okay that's fine now Moving it a little bit down so that it doesn't affect the view of the main menu. Adding some paddings here. Alright. Adjusting everything that I need. Alright. It goes fine. So, you know, all of this, right? Uh, we have done it in multi menu, CSS multi menu, right? So, we're gonna start what we do here, actually. So we'll define width for the URLs, right? Individually, we've got four URLs. All of them will be provided some width, and then float it on the left so that it, they can take take space they need, right? Defining the background for the div it looks good now. So it's showing up the float property here. So we, we need to remove that float property. Float none display block full width all right so now we are going to change the hover property you can use none or the background color keep it simple all right yeah that's good adding some padding for the h1 uh, heading tag sorry it looks good now so Finally, what we do is we'll add some hover properties here, defining some width to remove the scroll bar at the bottom. Okay, that looks good now. Okay, adding border on the top. Let's make it white. Yep. Then finally, adding the hover property for this sub menus. Okay, that's done. So we can add these properties anywhere we want. We can define the width and margin, whatever we want, right? And try some CSS properties here. Okay, then hide it and then display it when hover when the mouse is hovered on the main menu right yeah, that's done so you can see so let's add the same property on the other one and if you if you kept the same class names you don't need to write it again and again uh, what I'm gonna tell you here is that most of the times when you add 
such type of menus, submenus in your HTML file. You tend to find out that it moves to the left, uh, sorry, to the right, along with the title, right? It displays right below the title, related title. So I'm going to show you the difference here, what you did wrong over there, all right? That's why I created this video. So let's make the amendments here and see. Yeah, now you can see here, starting from the same point where we started the first one, the second one, right? So what's that? Actually, it's this one, right? Most of the time we do, what we do is, so let's see, here you go. So that's the reason. You can use float left, uh, display in line, that's the same, right? So instead of floating li tag, just float the a tag and you can see it works fine all right so that's all for today thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you